Hello and good day to you. Today's video will be designing a camisole with a tuck stitch pattern using the Design and Ink software. Locate your Design and Ink, click it. Click on Standard Garment Styling, a new garment. The, the wearer is an adult, female, gender female. Garment type is a sweater. The sleeve is a straight sleeve. We don't need to knit it and we don't want any shaping like that. And the front is going to be a straight neck and the back neck is going to be straight. Because we are not knitting it up to the shoulders, we are going to stop on the chest, just slightly above the cleavage. Okay, then when you finish there, you click OK. Method of knitting is um, the, knitting, the knitting method is machine knitting so we've selected it here and you click OK. The knitting machine we'll be using is the LK150 knitting machine. So I'll click OK. I've selected it, you just select it and you click OK. If you remember in the previous video we knitted a swatch, a tension swatch or a swatch gauge using our LK150 and it was a tuck stitch pattern. My measurement was a 19 centimeter. For the width of 40 stitches, it was 19 centimeter. Centimeters. If you have, if you have, um, if you use the other rulers, the ruler that came with your knitting machine to measure, you can put that um, stitch, the measurement here. All right, the height of the rows, the height of 60 rows was um, 13 for me, it was 13.7 13 13 centimeters. I'll do same here for the world, though I don't need a world, but I'll just do that. And we have 13.7. Okay, so here I have to put my tension die setting or needle size. So I'll put um, my tension die setting is um, stitch die, I use 4, and uh, auto tension, I use 3. Also, it was a tuck stitch pattern, <laughs> I need to write that down. Okay. However, the yarn I used was 100% acrylic yarn. And it was um, a double knit yarn, which is DK. So I'll just write 100% acrylic DK yarn. So I think that's all. And I'll click OK. I want it to be classic because I want it to fit me. I don't want it to be too free. So click OK. Since I'm wearing it inside my jacket, or um, blazer or suit. So here get um, standard size. I'll take them um, 34 inches for the bust. So all the measurements remain the same and I just click OK. You can see our gamut here but I need to reduce the size. It's too long. And um, when I measured from the top of my chest to the to the band of my skirt or trouser because that's where I want the um, camisole to sit on it was 40 centimeters but if you remember you need to because of the top there will be no place for it, it to you don't want it to be falling off your body you want it to therefore we are going to put a band on top and um we put a very large elastic. Is the elastic is not going to be tight? It's just to just it just to give it a little grip. So we will put um 46 centimeter. So 40 plus the six centimeter of the band. 40 centimeters for the normal length of the gown, the gamut, and um, plus six centimeters for the band for the elastic on top of the uh, camisole. So that's why. I'm Put in 46 and you just click OK. 
So now we can see our gamut. We'll go to this icon here. This um, let's take this. Okay, no, let's take this first. The second one, styling for the gamut neck. We don't need the we don't need a we are not needing the neck or so we just the neck band we'll put zero there. We don't want anything neck width. Don't worry about that. We just click apply and okay, and you see there's no more neck band. If you are knitting a blanket and you don't have other the original pattern styling, pattern drafting, you can just you can still make your garment like this, your blanket like so. You can design it like that and um, don't need a sleeve. And before you see, just make it 40 the way you want it, the width and the uh, height of the garment. And then you go ahead and knit only the bodies, and that gives you the blanket. But however, it's a garment, so we are knitting. So here we'll go to the styling for the garment body. Click on it, the welt. We don't need a welt, so we'll put a zero there. But remember, we need a welt here. You can flip it, but I don't want to flip it because I don't want to confuse you. All right, so what's going to happen is that the body blousing, body blousing, it help, um, it, I'll just, um, let me put a number so that you see. Let's put a number like nine for the body blousing. Sorry, and you see, if you notice, the garment flare out here. You can see it flaring out. If you put zero, it goes back to it becomes a straight garment, no shaping, nothing. But if you put um, nine or something, it flares out. But the lower, if you know what, the lower the number, the higher the flare, the more pronounced the flare. You see how it flares out here? Okay, so. If we don't want that, we say okay. We want um, if you put nine, you see it goes. But I don't want nine. I just want a little flare. So I'm going to put something like um, twenty. You just play with it and see how you like it. And if you notice, you see a little step here. It's as if it shows that we are going to decrease in. We will be decreasing. All right, so you click apply if you have. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I. Okay, twenty. Yes, you click apply and then you click OK. So that is it. We need to save. So I'll just save as. I'll go to my locate my hard drive and and I'll just save it as um. And you know, Camiso with flare two. Okay, let me say flare with band, with flare and band, because the first one I did, I didn't put a band, I forgot that, so I'll just save with band, so I'll click save, so I've saved it, and um, we need to print, click on print, we don't need the sleeves, so go to front, you can print just the front, and you can use it for the front and back, to need the front and back, because both of them they are the same stitch pattern stitch um pattern they are the same numbers of stitches and numbers of rows the same so we'll take um let's take text summary first and next and uh we'll get a preview of it let's see a preview before we print you see all the instruction all the notes i put concerning the pattern is here and one thing about the summary is that it tells you that just a custom left needle 52 to right needle 52 to you from what needle on the left to the right needle on the left you have to count you have to cast on and um, give you a summary of all the measurements so you can print and you see if you there's a way you install your name I, I think I'll teach you that next time you will be able to write your name and if, so that when you print it comes out with your name and on the pattern and all stuff so close and we're going to print so here my this is the printer i'm using the broader printer and uh, i'll just send it to print why that is printing we'll click on the print again we'll go to front this time we'll be going to gamut text We'll click on next and let's click on preview so that you see starting at the right hand side we'll, 
starting and needs to start at the right hand side and um it's machine eating the wrong side will not be the one facing me the right side will be facing me because it's a tuck stitch and also i like that raise the feather pause side is what is facing me so i will need to take this so just click ok and you see if you notice you can see that it tells you row by row what to do when to decrease when to cast on when to cast off what to do. so that is how gamut text and it tells you gamut text here it tells you what this so we're going to print that too same printer and we're going to print that too why not join me in the next video when we knit this on the LK150 knitting machine and then we stitch it up, we stitch the camisole up. Have fun until next video. Thank you. Bye bye.